Here we have another question from the iStructi Structural Behaviour course, or as it's now called, the S Structural Behaviour Quiz. The steel cable shown in the structure below helps to support the steel beam. What is the force in the cable? Take the Young's modulus of steel to be 200 kilonewtons per millimetre squared. So there are a few steps to this. First, we need to uh, have our equations of compatibility. Uh, I'll explain that as we get there. We need to find out the deflection of the beam if the cable weren't there, and use virtual work to find out the deflection of the beam after the support is being applied. And the final deflection is equal to the extension of the cable. Let's do that. So the Young's modulus should, will be equal to the force times the length over area of the cable times the extension. Maybe let's just write that as A cable and extension. Okay. And we're given these bits of information in millimeters and kilonewtons. Okay, so let's do it in kilonewtons and millimeters then. So we have F is unknown because that's the force in the cable times L, which is the length, so that's 5,000 millimeters. That's the this length of the cable. All over A cable is 50 times X. Okay, so that's, oh, and that's all equal to 200 kilonewtons per millimeter squared. So we get uh, 200 is equal to uh, 5,000 F over 550X, or let's say 2 is equal to F over X, or in other words, F or 0.5F is equal to X. Okay, 0.5x f is equal to x. Now, maximum deflection of the beam, if the cable weren't there, we have this piece of very important formula. 5 over... 500... 5 over 384 times WL to the 4 over EI is equal to delta. Now, let's see. We need this in kilonewtons and millimeters as well. So 5 times 0 0.005 kilonewtons per millimeter, which is that W there. times L to the 4, L is the entire length of that beam, so that's 10,000 millimetres, all over 384 times 200 times I is that, 400 times 10 to the 6, okay. So that's equal to delta. Let's just plug that in. I've I've pre-calculated this and it should be equal to eight point one three eight millimeters. Okay. Now so let's that's our neutral position, that's our deflection if our uh, cable weren't there the cable is going to bring it back to this position here. Okay, so what we want we want to know that distance there. So if we have a virtual work situation and we're pushing it back up. Okay, our virtual work equation it so let's use D there is equal to PL cubed over 48 EI. So P is this unknown force there, times L is 10,000 
millimeters cubed. Over 48 times 200 times 400 times 10 to the 6. Okay, so if we calculate that, D is equal to 0 0.260F. Okay, and we want this, we're going to label that there x okay which means oh and delta is our total deflection there so we have delta minus d is equal to x okay so we have 8.138 millimeters minus 0 0.260 f is equal to x which is equal to 0 0.5 f i've just plugged this equation back into here which means we've got this equation 8.138 millimeters is equal to 0 0.76 f and if you calculate that this should mean that we've got 10.71 kilonewtons and that is our final answer if you found this video useful give this video a like hit the subscribe button and tell your colleagues about this channel thank you